Hello ladies and welcome back to Still Looking Good 58, the channel that reviews wigs for the mature woman. Today I have the wig that I have been waiting for for a minute now. These aren't new. This curly wig is not new. This is the Bobbi Boss um, Natural Curl Series. I mean, she's not brand new. Um, I believe this Natural Curl Series might have came out in December of 2019, so it's fairly new. And uh, I have uh, Shaka, Shaka Khan, Shaka Khan, Shaka Khan, Shaka Khan. <laughs> I got Shaka. And she is in the color DX2216. And she has a couple of sisters. Um, I think the one next to her is called Mulberry. And then the ones at the bottom, you can see um, there's a Etta next to her. And then the other two. The one on the end, surely, is coming soon, so stay tuned for that one. Uh, again, um, I wasn't going to get this color. Um, I first I ordered it and I said, nah, you know, I don't want to do another blonde. I'm going to go ahead and tell them to send me, you know, sort of a brown. They said, well, it was too late. Sorry. <laughs> they already sent the blonde, so here it is. So let's talk about this for a minute. This wig, um, again, it's called the Natural Curl Series, and as you can see, it is curly. And I really like it because the curls are soft. I thought they were gonna be hard, but they're soft curls. Um, the cap, I think, might be a little small. It kind of feels like it with just my hands in it. But um, I want you to notice here, it's got lace in the front, but I want you to notice that it has um, no dark rooting. And you know how I feel about that. So I've got my mascara at the ready because I'm probably going to um, dark root it but it is traditional it has just the middle part so that's all just the middle part two combs on each side a comb in the back and adjustable straps so I'm gonna put her on and then I'm gonna cut the lace off because um, matter of fact these straps are connected so I'm gonna unconnect these straps because when I first put this on it felt a little tight so let's see here and again I've got the lace still on so that'll make a difference too Okay, <laughs> isn't she cute as a button? Look at that. She is adorable. Oh my goodness. This is like, you know, outdoor barbecue hair. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> this is like outdoor barbecue hair. It's like, hey, put on the records and let's do it. Okay, I'm going to take the lace off. Uh, and I know I'm probably talking loud. I know you hate that I talk loud. I'm going to take this lace off and we're going to put her on again. So I'm not even going to go away. I'm just going to pull it off. Oh, and I want y'all to know my hair is starting to grow and uh, the gray is coming in and I am good with it because I have decided that I am going to see what my hair looks like when the gray comes in. My brother, my older brother, his gray came in beautiful. One of my sisters, eh, the gray didn't come in so great, but yeah. So I'm just gonna cut this lace off. And I mean, you guys know how this is done. So I'm just gonna do this real quick. She is cute, isn't she? Look at that. Look how cute that is. I probably don't have the right outfit on because <laughs> I just got a t-shirt on. But man, is she cute. Um, you know, I'm debating whether I should even dark root her. I'm thinking about it, but you know that if you do dark root with mascara, you can pull it right out. Oh, man, you know what else that this is giving me besides backyard barbecue vibes? This is giving me 70s vibes, really like 70s hair. Like I'm about to put Marvin Gaye on. <laughs> I'm about to put what's going on on and get up and dance. You know what I'm saying? But this is really cute. Let me get a little closer so you can see these curls better. These are the curls and they are really adorable. They are. And this cap is, um, I'd say it was a medium cap. I wouldn't say it was a big head friendly cap. It feels medium and like I said, I disconnected the, um, I disconnected the things, but see, here's the back of it. Look at that. This thing is like, I'm serious. I need to go get my bell bottoms. <laughs> I need to go get my bell bottoms and get outside although it's cold in North Carolina it's not really barbecue weather 
But man, is this adorable. And these curls feel so nice. Okay, Bobby Boss, you did it. You did it this time. Um, darn it. Should I or shouldn't I dark root this? Um, I kind of want to do it. I do. So let's just try it. And then if I don't like it, you know I can always wash it out. But I'm kind of wanting to dark root this. Uh, so let me see if I can what's going to happen if I do that. It's going to look like horrible. And y'all know in this uh, camera, I cannot see really well, but I wanted to do it in front of you guys. I'm just going to do it a little bit so that you can see what it would look like with a dark root. Just a little bit of one. Now see, this is just a little bit of one. This is just a little bit of one. And again, I can wash this out. But honestly, I wish I could see better. I can't really see so good when I've got this camera on. You know what? I like that better. I hope you guys can see it better than I can see it because to me with my blind self, it looks right. You know, I kind of like it with a little darkness, you know? I mean, once I can actually get away from this camera and can see what I'm doing, I can probably dark root it a lot better. But I kind of like it with a little bit of a dark root. I think it's better. And again, like I said, <laughs> I'll be able to do it better once I'm um, like not in the light. But this wig is hitting on something. It really is. It is too adorable. And uh, like the dark root, usually when I do my dark root, and I'll put up a video of one that I did before. When I usually do my dark root, I, I probably bring it out a little bit further than this one. Um, the last wig that I did was a long blonde wig and I dark rooted it. And I really liked the way it looked, but it was a lot longer dark root than this. But this is cute. And you know what I like too, is you don't have to do anything except cut the lace off. I cut the lace off and you know just put it on my head <laughs> just styling a profile in this thing this is so cute so you know what i'm going to take some pictures in a blouse that really does this thing justice uh, so that you guys can see how beautiful this darn wig is wow. so i like this top better it's a little bit dressier than what i had on and what i want to do is to see if i can shift her because you know I'm not the middle part person, but with a curly wig like this, I'm not really sure that shifting is gonna work, but let's try it. So I'm gonna try to shift her to this side and see if, if shifting her works. Now see, if you bring the curls out in the front, oh, <laughs> this wig is so cute. If you bring the curls out in the front, just bring them out a little bit, then shifting it seems to work. Now you might like put some heat here. Um, I don't want to do that because I kind of like this look. I like this bouncy looking curly look. <gasps> this is so adorable and just, yeah, you can, you can shift her. You can shift this wig. <laughs> oh, this is too cute. This is too cute. So yeah. So um, I want you guys to know that, yeah, the dark rooting, you can take it off. And she's not really shedding. And uh, yeah, she's not really shedding. And the dark rooting you can always remove. But yeah, and she's not one you could put behind the ears because the curly wig is just a curly wig. And the other thing that I like about this is once you cut the lace off, you don't have to do anything else. Just put the thing on. And like I said, if you don't like the dark rooting, you can take it off. But you just put it on and you're ready to go to a war concert. <laughs> I'm serious. This is not only the backyard barbecue hair, but this is the get your bell bottoms on and go to the war concert hair. This is 70s vibe hair. I'm loving this. Ooh, ladies, you guys know. If you from back in the day like me, you're starting to have some memories when you put this thing on. You are gonna love this wig. And the big earrings are perfect because again, that's the 70s vibe. 
I am loving this wig. Bobby Boss, you hit it on the nail with this one. So I'm looking forward to getting the next one. And I am, just to let you know, guess who's coming? Shirley. I'm going to have Shirley next. So that'll be my next review after this. And again, uh, this comes in a limited number of colors. It comes in the burgundy uh, 430, which is, you know, probably the brownest you're going to get. It comes in an orange ginger, um, a silver white, the color I have on DT, DX2216 and a mulberry. So uh, it's, it doesn't come in the traditional twos and fours and one B's and all of that. Uh, some of these others might, but this particular wig does not. Shaka, shaka, con, shaka, con, shaka, con, shaka. Con. <laughs> <laughs> I'm loving this wig. Oh my goodness. So if you guys are interested in Shaka, I'm going to put the information down in the description section for you. If you have not subscribed to my channel, what are you waiting for? Hit that button and hit the notification bell too so that you don't miss any of my uploads. Thank you so much for watching you guys. And as I always like to say, if you're going to show love to anyone today, please show it to the creator. I'm still looking good, especially in this. And so are you. See you next time.